Hey guys, today I'm actually going to give you a tutorial on how to fix the uh, problems with your modem. So let's say you're having issues with your modem and, um, and your internet gets very slow, it keeps cutting off. This is a very, very well known issue recently with fiber optic internet, especially when you're going at the high speeds. Your modem keeps crashing, dying, not coming back, and your internet gets very slow. Well, you're in luck if you're having those issues. Um, there's a neat little software developed. It's very small that runs in the background and uh, will monitor the internet network status and will take care of your modem. It will fix it automatically without you even bothering to um, interfere with it. So the first step we want to do is go to latechef.com. This site is actually um, international recipe site from all over the world but their team actually developed this software and uh, they posted all the way at the bottom here on the tab, courtesy tab just click on that and here you'll see the um, instructions here as well how to actually run through but I'm just going to give you a demo here so just click on the uh, download link save once it's saved open the folder, cut it, and go to C drive. And make sure you paste it here. Okay. So once this is pasted here, um, extract it. Make sure that you see this folder in the C drive. No, any other folder, this will not work. Open that and uh, you'll see the icon here, the green online is the same icon as the uh, Late Chef. So once that's done, uh, double click on that. Once you double click on that, you'll have the uh, software launching here. It might be red, it might be green, depending on the uh, status. Uh, if the default settings have been correctly inserted, is they're, they're, they're the correct one for your modem, then it will actually be green but most likely it won't be, it will be just red. So here you'll see two LEDs, online LEDs, the uh, indicates the status of the uh, web, if your computer is able to correctly uh, connect to the web and, and make and, and browse. And the second one would be network, so the network LED will indicate the uh, status of the modem. So if it's green, that means everything working, the functioning correctly without no detected issues. If it's yellow, that means you know there, there's some issues detected. There could be something like bottleneck or it could be like some kind of catch problem, memory problem, some data crash on it. Uh, you know, there's something not right with the modem at all. It's not a full functioning state. If it's red, that means the modem is absolutely not at the functioning state. So once that goes red, your online will definitely go red as well. All right. So we want to click on settings and from settings we're going to see uh, IP address, username and password. Now this IP address is not your computer IP address, this is the IP address of your modem so just copy that like so and paste it here. Once you paste it here you'll open the um, your, net, uh, your modem settings page. Now this is going to be different for every different computer, right? Depending on the uh, firmware of your um, of your modem slash router. And um, if you're prompted here by user with username and password, then you must enter them here. And this username and password are the ones for the modem. If you don't have username and password, then just skip these. You can just delete them. Okay. But if you do have, the most common ones are admin and admin. So let's say this is correctly inserted, IP, username and password. Now you want to do select default at first. Once you select default, you want to make sure that this software is able to correctly communicate and make any changes needed to your modem to bring it to the functioning state. Even so, it might actually need to restart if something is not fully done correctly. 
So how to make sure that this is actually cranking uh, correctly? You want to actually click on test. Uh, you can click like once, twice, three times, just to make sure that the code has been correctly sent. Some of the modems, they take one time request of the command. Some of them, they take two or three. I've never experienced anything more than three times, but you never, but I never know. So it could be a bit more. That depends on your modem. Um, and what you want to do, once you click, click on the test, you want to make sure that the modem restarts. So look on the modem physically and see if the lights are off and then starting off one by one so the, the, the you won't be able to browse either at this state so let's say it did not work it did not restart so select default 2 and then do it again once twice three times I just do it three times because usually it, it takes between one to three so I just want to do the worst case scenario to make sure it's restarting and make sure to see if the modem restarted or not if that doesn't work either um, if you have the smart RG the software has been tested and developed under the uh, smart RG and a few other modems um, the smart RG would be just select that username password uh, IP address and test it will work but let's say none of these uh, settings work smart RG actually just just to get a little bit deeper into smart RG is the modem used in uh, Canada networks uh, Bell Canada used to use it I believe I'm not too sure but um, I know Tech Savvy and I can act there they're currently using this new modem so then you're in luck let's say they didn't work and you have a different modem uh, then you deselect the selection of the modem and here you can actually do some scripting according to your modem this command is the command that actually remotely restarts your modem uh, this is the same command that's being used by telnet to restart the modem as well so default one is restart and default two is reboot i believe and might be in vice versa order let's say they did not work here's another one you can try you can um, script uh, reset uh, reset and then click on test again and see if it works or not if that doesn't work uh, you can maybe try R set or R start or R boot should one of them should work but if your modem is very unique then they might have some uh, weird command to restart google that in your um, browser put the modem name and say uh, telnet command restart that should actually give you something some information on the uh, command to restart the modem if you can't um, find that then I would suggest contacting the uh, manufacturer they will definitely provide you with the command line to restart the modem remotely so once that's done we want to go back and here we have an auto start check mark if you check mark that one then every time the software launches it will automatically start monitoring the network conditions and the uh, web browsing state and make any necessary changes uh, or sets to actually make sure that the computer is working correctly now in order to make it fully automated like my computer um, just go to the folder where the software is located, right click, uh, go to uh, send to uh, desktop, create shortcut. So once you've done that, copy the shortcut or cut it like in my case and paste it at your um, startup folder, like so. So now every time your operating system starts, this will be launched and that will launch the software, auto start is set. It will start monitoring and making any necessary changes to your network. Now let's just say you're running Windows 8 and you don't know where the uh, startup folder is. Windows 8 is a little bit tricky. It's not anymore in the uh, start menu. Just co just copy this, paste it here. But now you want to make sure that this is the username for your computer. So whatever the username is originally set, then that would be the one 
for your operating system.